Sandeg staff members got the message tonight at Del Mar City Hall. Yet another presentation. This time it's not a Zoom call, and Councilmember Gasterlin has yet another option for them to consider. What hasn't been looked at are the fairgrounds. So let's look at them. Let's figure out if the fairgrounds parking area north of the river, south of the racetrack, can be a place that's already state owned, that the railroad tracks can be relocated. At this stage, five options have been whittled down to two. Both of them use tunnels underneath the homes built on limestone. Now that the leadership is changing over at Sandag, the people of Del Mar are hoping to have a stronger voice in a decision that directly affects their lives. The Sandag board is evolving. There's more conversation happening. I have faith that my fellow members of the Sandag board, that most most of them are going to start listening to this alternative as a possible feasible alternative, especially if it's lower cost. All right, well, here we are inside the town hall meeting that's happening here in Del Mar. And as you can see, a lot of people are gathered around, and there's five different stations for five different phases of moving the trains off the coast and somewhere else. Of course, there are a variety of people who have a variety of opinions about what should happen out here. The people of Del Mar certainly would like to have a stronger voice in the future of their own community, and this perhaps is the beginning of that voice rising up. We're in Del Mar. Dan Plant, KUSI News. All right, joining me now to uh, discuss this plan as well as alternatives is Sandag Bo Del Mar Sandag board member Terry Gasterlin. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Allie. Yes. Good to see you. Where I said, Dan, you must have him on speed dial. <laughs> so give us an update as far as we were watching what was happening there, where you guys are at as far as this is concerned and what needs to happen here. Yeah, well, we've established that the train tracks can't stay on that bluff. The bluff is crumbling and eroding. The big question now is where is it going to go? It needs to somehow get from Solana Beach to Sorrento Valley, and Delmar is right in the middle of that. Well, Sandag held a workshop last week on, on Wednesday and told us all about the different alignments that they've been looking at and told us that two have floated to the top. Both are tunnels. Both would go through the fragile sandstone that is the Del Mar Hill. That is a continuation of that bluff that we just saw, that coastal bluff. So now the people of Del Mar are asking, well, wait a minute. How do we know we can do those tunnels and not harm our homes? And that's a really good question because it's sandstone with caves and water pouring through it. We know we have all that infiltration. So we all stepped back and said, is there any other alternative we can look at? And we realized the fairgrounds. Yeah. So if you look at the graphic that just came up, what you'll see is if we turn away toward the east slowly from Solana Beach and then go across the fairgrounds parking lots, there's actually a one and a quarter mile path to get that train to the I-5. So people are now asking, let's study that one right along with the tunnels. We've got $300 million to do these studies. Let's do it. Right, and so for you guys, how much would the study take and how does that factor into what you, the money that you guys have for this study? Well, $300 million is a lot of money. Yes, it is. That can get us the geologic study of the tunnel. Can we really tunnel? The geologic study of the land mass above the tunnel. What's in it? How stable is it? Yeah. But we've got this fairgrounds. And if you think about the practicality of it, the parking lot is right there. It's empty. It's ready to go. Put the train underneath that. No disturbance of operations to the fairgrounds once the train is completely done. And then there's a bridge right now, an old 100-year-old trestle bridge across the San Diego River. It needs to be replaced. Well, let's replace it with a bridge further to the east, hooking up with the fairgrounds and taking the train to the I-5. And then we hook up with the I-5 alignment that Sandag's contractors have already laid out as a possibility. What is the response that you're getting from this idea? Thank you for asking. Yeah. It's universally a positive response, saying, wow, why wasn't that on the table? 
I've been asking that question and haven't really gotten any answers other than, well, we looked at it and the fairgrounds wasn't just wasn't quite right. No details. So what we want in Del Mar is to put it on the table, to study it right along with the tunnels as an alternative. Now, people have asked, what about the lagoon? There, we really need to look at the big picture. Right now, the train goes through two miles, two miles of tracks through the Penasquitos Lagoon, mm -hmm. and another mile of track south from the, the San Iguita Lagoon wetlands, and the tracks go a mile through there. And then we have that 1.5 miles on top of the bluff. Yeah. You add that all together, and you add in a little tenth of a mile here and there, it's almost five miles of tracks that will go away through natural environmental coastal spaces, and it's about a quarter mile over that San Diego Lagoon. So what happens next? Where are you guys in this process? I know you had the meeting last week. What is the next step here? Well, people have been asking for a Q&A type forum, a place where they can get somewhat of a presentation, ask questions, and get answers right there. So at this past workshop, I had an opportunity to talk with the Deputy Executive Director, Colleen Clemenson, mm -hmm. and Colleen recognized we need that next step. So she was suggesting to me, can we maybe do a Saturday forum with Q&A? And mm -hmm. I said, absolutely. So we'll try to time it so it coincides with the Del Mar Farmer's Market. That's okay. every Saturday noon to four. Yeah. So if we can do you know, a noon Q&A, that would really be the best thing next for the city of Del Mar. But most important is for the Sandag board to direct the Sandag staff to put the fairgrounds alignment. We might want to call it the Del Mar our bypass yeah. into the study. Right, because as we have talked about, we're kind of at that point where a decision needs to be yeah. made as far as this goes and needs to be made soon. So you're hoping that that's what's going to happen yep. at the next Sandag board meeting. Yes, so that board meeting is going to be this Friday. Okay. I'm really hoping that a few neighbors show up on the public comments for items not on the agenda to give their perspective straight to the board. But I'll be giving a public comment or a member comment on items yeah. not on the agenda uh, to update the board and tell them exactly what we've been talking about here okay. and that that is the alternative that you are looking at that you've talked to residents about it makes so much sense everybody reacts well people say what about the lagoon and the answer is five miles gained for a quarter mile of being very careful all right Terry Gasterlin thank you so much for joining us and thank shedding light on this topic me. all right